Hi everybody. Here I am using some corrugated cardboard that I got at um, a FedEx uh, shipping center. They come in big rolls and you buy them uh, by the meter or the yard and uh, they're a good thing because they're easy to cut and they're easy to mold around our boxes. So I've got a couple of tin boxes today. I got a nice little decorative box. It's about eight inches by five and I've got an an almost square cookie tin from Christmas time and um, so the first step is you lay out your pattern, you measure and you write out your pattern and I like to do the sides with the ribbing going up because I found that that helps it to move around the shape of your container really well and um, you might be doing some of those, you see here I've got a round one um, the cookie uh, or the dog food tins are really good for storing larger electronic items. And so here, um, once you've got it measured out, you just fit it in. I like to double layer them, interlocking, so that I have more protection, okay, for my electronics. So first I do my bottom bit, or my side bit, sorry. Then the next step is to um, lay out and measure and cut the bottoms and you notice how the ribbing goes the same direction for the pieces whether they're bottoms or top pieces and so here I push them in as a second step and maybe I want to take my beautiful Ashland candles that are they run on three AAA batteries which are easier to store um, and easier not easier to store but they are easier to recharge with a solar panel um, and so maybe I want to store them to be able to use them so what I do is I, I lay them inside and then I take the top pieces which I've already cut out and I simply lay them in like that there's one and then I do the second one it has to go inside the lip, interlocking, okay, and then that is all sealed from getting through any electronic rays. I put the lid on, and it's my choice whether or not I'm going to seal this further with duct tape and then maybe um, a metalized tape over top. I might want to leave it open so that I can reach things easier next time. But this is a good idea. It's, it's not expensive. It just takes some measuring, some cutting, and you can have small things. You can have big things. Like I said, you can use the big dog tins. Um, they're great. This corrugated board will do it all. If you get the dog tins, try to get the ones that are straight cylinders. They're the easiest ones to measure the cardboard for. The ones that have a slight angle to them with the bottom being a different size from the top, those are a bit of an agony because this is very rectangular in the layout. So it's just easier to get the straight uh, cylinders. So have fun with this. Look for this at shipping stores and rolls. By, they sell it by the, uh, by the yard or the meter. And be safe. Get get ready. Get protected against EMP. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.